Okay, now we're moving into part three right here. So uh, I'm not going to actually answer question one. I just want you to see kind of what happens here. Oops, and I made Excel smaller just so I could see. But what you want to do when you want to type your answers is you want to type, you want to make it very clear and obvious to the person that's grading it. I mean, you want to be able to look at the, um, here, I'll, I'll do it this way. Number one, that'll be good. I'll make it obvious. If I do one, it thinks it's a number. All right, so there, and then I could type answer in words, blah, blah. Okay, so you will write your own answers to all the different problems. And you want to make it so that it's very obvious to your instructor what you did. Now, one way you can do it is just typing in a cell like I did right here. Right? You can see the question number one is actually a question that's going to require some explain explaining, explanation, whichever word you want to use. Okay, so you can just type one, blah, blah, blah. Or you could do insert a text box, and you can kind of click and drag and type you know number one and it, this kind of works like like sort of like a notepad or, or um, baby Microsoft Word so you can type answer yada 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 right and then you can make it bigger or smaller like let's say you know you only need to make a sentence like that you know okay <laughs> so there's your words okay you don't need this then and then say number two was calculations. So number two is right here. And then you go on from there. So you can you can either do text boxes or you can click in the cell and type in the cells. Either way is fine. All right. So number one, some explanation thing. I'll leave that up to you. Number two, I just wanted to show you how to do these problems with Excel. So the mean, the way to find the mean, and of course you want to label this and be clear about it. So I'm going to make it bold. And it's equals average. That's the formula for it, parentheses. And then you got to tell it where your data is. So it starts up at B2, and it goes all the way down to here. For me, it's B171. For you, it'll be something different. Um, technically, you can do like B200, and it won't really change it. So whichever you like doesn't make any difference. B200, by the way, would be including all these here. Hold on. Scrolling down. Empty cells down here. That's okay. Um, Excel just ignores anything that is empty. Okay. So there's that one. That's the mean. Next, I have to find the median. In fact, I'm going to label all these. Oh, and they've got little letters. I better give them their letters. So this was A. This is B. And so on. And if you really want to get clever, you can start, you know, making it so that there's zebra stripes, like yellow for that one and yellow for this one or whatever. <laughs> you can you can fuss around with that if you like. All right. So median is equals median. And again, you can do the whole thing. The whole shebang. OK, C is count. Now the way to find count is equals count, and again B2 to B whatever. It won't matter because, see, even though it goes to 200, look, even though it goes that far with the blue box, it doesn't matter. It just ignores any of the empty values. So even though there are values right here, it just ignores them. So there we go. All right, so that one's done. Oopsie, that's my YouTube. Variance, okay. Well, variance and then the next one, standard deviations. Let me let me type those up. Hold on one sec. All right, now for variance, there's two formulas depending on whether you have old Excel or new Excel, and also depending on whether you're dealing with a population or a sample, which sort of depends on your answer for number one, doesn't it? Okay, so if you assumed it was population and you have new Excel like me, you could do var.p b2 to b200, okay? or B, whatever it is, B171. If you think it's a sample and you have got new Excel, you could do ver.s. If you think it's a, excuse me, a population and you've got old Excel, that would be verp, or this one, verp. And if you have old Excel and you think it's a sample, you would do ver, v-a-r. So it all kind of depends on whether you think it's a population.